On Monday, scientists announced that they have detected in the harshly acidic clouds of Venus a chemical called phosphine that indicates microbes may inhabit the planet. On Earth, phosphine is a flammable, foul, toxic gas produced by microbes that thrive in oxygen-free environments. Its odor is similar to decaying fish or garlic. Astronomers have speculated for decades that microbes could thrive in the high clouds on Venus, floating free of the scorching surface, but still needing to tolerate very high acidity. The detection of phosphine, composed of hydrogen and phosphorus, could point to this extraterrestrial aerial life. The international team of astronomers, led by Professor Jane Greaves of Cardiff University, first spotted the phosphine using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii and confirmed it using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array Radio Telescope in Chile. Both facilities observe Venus at a wavelength of about one millimeter. That's much longer than the human eye can see. Only telescopes at high altitude can detect this wavelength effectively. Phosphine is present in the Venusian atmosphere, but scarce, only about 20 molecules in every billion. The researchers examine potential non-biological sources such as volcanism, meteorites, lightning, and various types of chemical reactions, but none appeared viable. The research continues to either confirm the presence of life or find an alternative explanation. The analysis shows something alive as the only explanation for the chemical source, but some researchers suggest the gas could result from unexplained atmospheric or geologic processes on a planet that remains mysterious. The astronomers ran calculations to see if the phosphine could come from natural processes on Venus. Some ideas on natural ways to make phosphine included sunlight, minerals blown upwards from the surface, volcanoes, or lightning, but none of these could make anywhere near enough of it. The researchers found natural resources can make at most one ten thousandth of the amount of phosphine that the telescope saw. To create the observed quantity of phosphine on Venus, terrestrial organisms would only need to work at about 10% of their maximum productivity, according to calculations by Dr. Paul Rimmer of Cambridge University. The research team will continue its search for the origin of the phosphine gas detected on Venus, as well as look for other unexpected gases in its atmosphere. However, any microbes on Venus will likely be very different from the ones on Earth to survive in hyperacidic conditions. The new discovery is described in a paper in Nature Astronomy, for which you can find a link in the description below.